Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul, and in this video, we are going to discuss about SQL union with WHERE clause. When you are working on a real time data set, you might have to combine multiple tables into a single view, and then you have to select or filter out the data based on certain criteria. And when you have to do that, you have to use the union operator with the where clause so in this video we are going to discuss about the same in my previous video i have shown you how you can use union and union all operator to combine or append multiple tables in this video we are just going to use where clause with union operator so i have two tables here so if i run this entire query i will have the result set which will combine the data from promotional mail as well as promotional mail 2. Now what I need to do is that suppose I have to filter out only for product A and product D then how can I do that. So it's fairly simple what you need to do is that you just need to put the where clause after the first select statement and you can also put the where clause after the second select statement. There is another way of putting the where clause. So I'll show you the multiple ways how you can put the WHERE clause within this union operator. So first of all, the first way of doing is that you can put the WHERE clause in the first select statement. So I'm putting WHERE product type. Is equal to D and similarly, I'll put the same WHERE clause in my second select statement also. Now if I run this query, I'll get all the result set that will have product D. The another way of applying filter on the union all is that you have to simply write the select statement and then you have to put union all and then the second select statement and you just have to create a view from these two select statement and you can put the where condition over that particular view. Let me show you how you can do this. So we'll just simply remove this where condition from here as well as from this second select statement. We'll simply create a view by writing select star from select star from this particular view. And now when you're creating a view, you just have to remove the semicolon and you have to put semicolon at the last. Now you have created this view and if you run this particular view, you will get the entire result set. Okay, I'm getting error because I have not given the areas for both of these table. So I'll give as A and as B and I'll create the alias for this view also and I'll keep the name as C. Now if I run this particular query, I'll get the entire data set or the union of the promotional mail as well as promotional mail 2. Now when I have to apply the filter, I can simply apply the where condition here and I'll put where product type equal to D. Now if I run this query, you will see that you will get only the product D details from promotional mail as well as promotional mail 2 and this way is the easiest way or you can say is that the simplest way to put filters with union because in this way you just have to write the where condition once while the first way which I have shown you earlier you have to write where twice. So this is how basically you can apply filter using where condition while using union or union all operator. If you want to learn more about SQL, you can click on the right side of this video or if you want to learn about Excel, you can click on the left side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.